Hello and welcome to In the Hyperloop. My name is Blake. Today we are talking with Arthur, project lead and president of Hyperloop at Virginia Commonwealth University. This student organization is devoted to designing and building a fast transportation pod for this year's SpaceX pod competition. They're comprised of over 30 plus active members across three design teams, as well as having a marketing, fundraising team, and faculty endorsements. The team consists of cross-disciplinary individuals in electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, computer engineering, physics, math, business, and art majors. Arthur, thank you so much for joining in the Hyperloop today. Yeah, thank you. Um, so I mentioned in the introduction, you're president and lead for Hyperloop at VCU. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about your position and how your role fits in, in leading the team? Sure. So um, Hyperloop at VCU is a cross-disciplinary uh, team that combines engineering, business, and arts together. Um, my job as president and project manager is to pretty much make sure that we get everything done that we need to get done and build a fully functional pod for SpaceX's competition. Awesome. And we're so close to the competition. It's like in a matter of like days now. Um, yeah. and so you're, you're finally done with this. And, you know, how did you become you know, interested in Hyperloop? You know, how does how do you think a future with Hyperloop might might look like? Well, I was really attracted to the vision of just Elon Musk and what, what he thinks of how the world should be, you know, space exploration, putting us on Mars. The Hyperloop is another one of his ideas that I've liked, and I feel like that I can make an impact on the world by, you know, even joining uh, something like this Hyperloop competition and getting in on that. Um, so over last summer, I really got into, you know, wanting to start an organization, and the Hyperloop competition provided that platform so that's cool um you know i think a lot of people got really interested in in his vision and i think um it's refreshing to have people with big visions and you know set audacious goals and try something new uh sometimes with the technologies that we have <laughs> but just kind of putting them all together in one package so arthur in your role as project lead and president of hyperloop at vcu what it, what are some of the challenges that you faced um in, in this role? So, you know, with every team, you need to kind of connect with everybody and make sure that you're on the same ground and kind of get everyone on the same level of standard. Uh, so communication or, you know, logistics, making sure people follow through with plans and making sure you have action items after every meeting and especially coordinating. That's probably the biggest thing. So mm -hmm. Arthur, how big is the team and, um, you know, how, how, difficult is it to manage so many different positions and so many different um, individuals? So we have over 35 core yeah. students working That's on this project. Uh, we've got, you know, eight or, eight or more leads working on this, and then they've got their own sub teams. So coordinating with them and then they're coordinating with their team members, you know, what to do. That's, it's a big job. That's, that's not easy. So we've hit on some of the challenges. Um, that you faced on a daily basis. What are some of the things that you enjoy working uh, on this Hyperloop project or in the Hyperloop community? I've really enjoyed the design process. Um, I've, I've worked on other small projects, but this is by far the biggest project that I've you know, built something with a team that is really devoted to it. And the, the design process in general is something I've always loved. That's really cool. So do you see Hyperloop replacing like everyday travel someday or how do you think it might replace current transportation? I see it uh, connecting cities to other cities, maybe not within the city, but yeah. I can definitely see, you know, Richmond to DC. That's probably something that would definitely happen. That's cool. Well, that was, that was kind of one of my follow-up questions I always ask. Where would you like to see the Hyperloop? And, I guess Richmond to DC would be yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Richmond's really got a innovation movement, and it's it's a home for a lot of startups. And so we've mm -hmm. kind of gotten on that oh. innovation movement. So that's awesome. And and DC, you know, is a powerhouse. You know, and it's halfway to New York City or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Connect these. Coast. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Let's switch gears a little bit and close out with a fun question. 
Um, I ask this of every team, uh, but if you could ask Elon Musk any question, a Hyperloop related or not, what would it might be? I'd probably ask him if he had any other ideas up his sleeve uh, to solve humanity's greatest problems, <laughs> like traffic. <laughs> so, <Yep. you> know. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I, I think he's working on the traffic thing. <laughs> but, <laughs> But that's that's it's not easy predicting, um, you know. <laughs> different com companies spin out sometimes <laughs> with him. Yeah. But, um, well, Arthur, thank you so much for joining in the Hyperloop. How can the viewers find more information about Hyperloop at VCU and and your team and your work and help support you? So we have a website, Hyperloop at VCU dot com, uh, where you can check out our pod. You can check out uh, our team and possible sponsorship. Um, and we've already started planning for the next competition. We'd love to connect with anybody who's passionate. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again, and uh, good luck and break a pod. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks.